everybody, it's Aaron, and I'm here with Buddy Kerner, and he owns Felino's restaurant in Shelburne, Vermont, which is a wood-fired pizza place with his dad, and they have to split wood to do it, correct? Obviously. Yep. Yeah. Split a lot of wood. And they use a DR rapid fire. So we wanted to come up and talk to you about the whole process, what you have to do. I mean, look at all this wood they have to split behind us. It gets crazy. It gets crazy. crazy. Yeah. So, I don't know how to like time this out, but let's say in a month, how many cords of wood do you think you go uh, through? I have a, I use a lot of different types of wood. I only use the rapid fire here to split what I call the cooking wood uh, into small pieces. So this is, let's see, this would be like an ideal size. So it's pretty small, and I even split them this small. So I have to split them very small. Um, and I get the wood, it looks like that, you know, it's regular, regular stuff that you throw in your oven at home. Mm -hmm. So what I use this for is taking that stuff, splitting it maybe three or four times to get the real small stuff. Okay. So in terms of this wood, I go through maybe a quarter and a half a month, but it may, you know, that doesn't seem like that much, but when you have to split it all into little, fine you know, pieces. really fine pieces, that's a fair amount of splitting. Mm -hmm. So why do you have to split them so small? Well, when you have a small piece of wood and it lights on fire, you'll have more flame to coal or yeah, the, whatever the embers are. Mm -hmm. So what I'm looking for is, is a flame. That's what's cooking the pizza. And when you have a lot of coals that build up, it, it will burn the sides rather than having a flame that comes down and cooks the top of the pizza. Mm -hmm. So I could split them all like, you know, something like this. If you throw this in a fire, it's going to turn to a flame. And then when it's done being a flame, there's not going to be a lot of coals left over. Do you have to split like every day? How often do you have to come out and split um, wood? Or do you if, just if do I, a whole bunch at once and then? I do, I try to do like two truck loads and that'll fill up our wood uh, area at Felino's, which is underneath the, the counters. I can fit about, yeah, two big truck loads and that'll last me about a week. So I'm, I'm splitting at least every week, but some weeks... I'll get behind and I'll come here and I'll just split a day's worth and I'll bring it in and then the next day I'll have to come do it. So, you know, I got to get ahead with the wood and I like to do it every week, but sometimes it's like three, four times a week. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. So, buddy, we want to thank you for letting us come out here, watching you split wood, watching you cook amazing pizzas. If you are ever in Shelburne, Vermont, make sure that you stop by. It is delicious and I highly recommend it. And it's been a joy to watch you do this today. Thank you.